Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're going to do in today's time is we're going to check out some new lures, some new baits for 2023. You know, it's getting that time of year where fishing season is here and there's some cool new lures that have hit the market. I've got a few of them. We're going to check them out. Stick with me. I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay, guys, let's jump right into this. Uh, the first bait, you guys know if you watch the channel, I love to power fish. I love spinner baits, bladed baits, all that stuff that you can power fish with, crank baits. But this is a new bladed bait on the market. It is the Berkeley Slobber Knocker. This is a half ounce model. I think it's pretty unique is the reason I got it. Um, and it's been out for a little while, I guess, since last fall. But this is the first spring we'll be able to fish with this and the other new lures here because some of these other lures came out. Uh, probably towards the end of last year, but they're widely available on the market now. So anyway, Berkeley Slobber Knocker, going to take it out of the package here and give you guys a closer look at it. So this is the Slobber Knocker, and I think what gives it a unique um, action in the water, or will give it a unique action, I haven't fished this bait yet, but I'm going to probably this weekend, is this head design on it. If you guys can see that on there, it is a pass-through head design for the blade, and it's supposed to give it a really wide wobble you know, through the water column and a really hard hunting action. I think that's one of the things that make the jackhammer, which I'm a huge fan of, very unique. I mean, I love the classic chatterbait too and some of the others out there, but that hard, hard hunting action on the jackhammer and it's got a different cadence, I think is what sets it apart from the other bladed jigs out there. And this slobber knocker, like I say, it's got this pass-through head design, which is supposed to give it a really pronounced wobble, um, just a really wide profile like that coming through the, the water column. So I'm excited to fish this bait. This is the half ounce model. I think it comes in three eighths. It may come in some heavier models as well, but the half ounce slobber knocker uh, should be one hopefully to smash some bash on here coming up this spring. Next guys is the Berkeley Power Stinger. This is the three and a half inch soft plastic. Um, I'm going to take it out of the package here. I know there's a lot of glare on it. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I think this is a pretty unique new soft plastic here for 2023. So here it is, guys, the Berkeley Power Stinger. I think this uh, swim bait was actually designed as a chatterbait trailer or, you know, a bladed jig trailer. Um, what I think kind of makes it unique, and this is the three and a half inch model, is if you guys can see, it's got all these little kind of pores in it like this. And it's really, the body's not segmented per se, but you can see it's got these... Uh, like I say, these kind of honeycomb design on the side of it. Uh, I can tell you, and you can see just holding it here, here in my hand without barely uh, moving it, that tail really bounces around. Once again, I've not fished this yet, but I'm definitely going to throw this on the back of some chatter baits. And it's a swim bait too, so you know you can fish it uh, Texas rig weightless and get that dying shad look to it. You could also fish it um, with a big wide odd hook and a belly weight and fish it weighted. So there's multiple ways, or you could throw it on a jig head. There's multiple ways that you can fish this bait, but um, it's also impregnated with the, the Berkeley scent. So that's supposed to help it as well. Uh, but that is the Berkeley Power Stinger for 2023. Next up, we're going to stay with some soft plastics here. This is the new Gary Yamamoto Slinko. Um, this right here is a 5.5 inch size on this. I'll take it out of the package, give you guys a closer look at that. So here we go, the new Yamamoto Slinko. Once again, five and a half inch model, and it's kind of got the old um, ringworm design to it here. You can see all the little segmented sections, which should move a lot of water, uh, maybe even trap a little bit of water and get that bubble trail going. But it's got a wide section in the middle, like an egg sack right here, where you could wig the, rig this up wacky style. Um, obviously, you could rig it up Texas rigged, or you could put a shaky head on it, but a little bit different design, a little bit different look. Um, from the traditional Cinco. So I'm really, really curious to give this a try, uh, especially as the water starts to warm up more and I start throwing more Cinco's and soft plastics like that, but especially this style of bait. So this is something different from, uh, from Gary Yamamoto and all his stuff I think is top notch. Every time I've fished it, I've really done well on it for the most part. So this is something new from him and I'm curious to give it a try here in 2023. All right, next up we have the David Dudley Wacky Worm. This is a new design uh, that he's got in here too. And once again, I know there's some glare on the package here. I'll take this out and give you guys a look at it because it's, it's pretty unique. So the new David Dudley Wacky Worm here, and it's five and three eighths inches long, kind of a unique size that it's not rounded off five or five and a half, but five and three eighths inches, inches 
not a brand new design, but supposedly he put about a year of research into this bait. And you can see just kind of barely moving. It's supposed to have that perfect shimmy as it falls through the water column uh, when you're throwing it wacky style. And you know, you could rig this bait up different ways too. You don't have to throw it wacky style. But anyway, it's supposed to fall and have that nice shimmy going through the water. Um, it feels like a hand pour, like a lot of the Yamamoto baits or the Senkos. I don't know if it is or not, but uh, this one's in green pumpkin. And I think as far as a wacky worm goes, I think it'll, it'll definitely produce. It's one of those baits too. I could just feel it in my hand. It's heavy. So, you know, it's, it's definitely probably got a high salt content to it, which means it's, it's going to cast like a rocket. Uh, which is really nice when you're throwing it on that lighter spinning gear. But anyway, David Dudley from Perfection Lures, uh, this new Wacky Worm, we're going to give a shot here this spring too. Next up, guys, the Z-Man Hellraiser. We're going to take this out of package and give you a look at it. Topwater bait, got to have a topwater bait in there, especially for springtime and that warm water coming up. Uh, this is a bait that's actually been out since I think last July or so, but widely available on the market now. And it's one of those baits too that'll be, you know, first time being able to fish it this spring and see how it performs. We're going to get out of the package here and see what you guys think. So guys, the Z-Man Hellraiser, this is one funky looking bait to say the least. Um, you know, it's got that pencil design to it. What it's supposed to be able to do, and I'll kind of break the bait down for you. Obviously it's the pencil design on here and then it's got rattles in it. You can hear those. It's got this chatterbait blade on the back right here. And then it has got a feather dress treble hook hand tied off the back. So it's incorporating really a lot of different baits into one. And what it's supposed to do, it has this really wide walk the dog action like the like the Zara Spooks do. And then it's going to also have uh, that chatterbait thump and with this color blade flash to it, but that really hard cadence to it. So it's going to walk the dog. It's going to have that thump from a bladed jig. And then it's got a little more flash with this dress tail. Of course, you've got the rattles in it too. Uh, really loud bait on top. I think this is a bait that'd be great for schooling fish. I think it'd be one you can use in shallow water too that'll really bring you know some fish over, especially if it's murkier conditions. Uh, kind of fish in that chocolate milk like water because it's going to make a ton of noise and maybe bring those fish in as well. This is a bait I'm really excited to try because it's probably the funkiest looking bait that I've seen out uh, for 2023, but definitely going to give the Z-Man Hellraiser a shot this spring. Last but not least, guys, is this Z-Man 1.75 inch, so it's inch and three quarter um, larval. It's, it's like a bug larvae shad thing here. And the reason I put this in here, because I love to pan fish. I mean, I love the bass fish, but I love the pan fish, bluegill, crappie and such, trying to get a whole bunch of fillets built up because we have a big fish fry every year in the fall. I'm going to take this out of the package, give you guys a closer look at it, because it is a pretty neat looking little uh, pan fish lure. So guys, if you can see this here, there is the, Z, this is the Z-Man larva, uh, 1.75 larva. It has kind of got, a, it looks like a Helgamite, if you know what those things are. Uh, we used to use those for like trout fishing and pan fishing uh, back in the day, but it has got this little fork tail on it, little uh, six-legged body, big eyeballs on it. But I think this is a bait right here that is just going to be killer on some bluegill. It's, it's just a sexy little soft plastic is what it is, really. And it's a Z-Man, a last tech material. So hopefully those fish won't be biting this tail off like crazy or their legs like they do on a lot of other soft plastics. But uh, I got this one in green pumpkin because I think it'll be one that'd be great for bluegill and redfish and stuff like that. And if I want a brighter color, I'll just use my dye marker and uh, I can color it chartreuse or red or, you know, several other colors as well. I've got some black dye markers so we can we can make this fit the situation for whatever panfish we're going for. But anyway, that is the, the Z-Man larva. And uh, I put it in there. I'm trying to get it where you guys can see it because it's so small, it's kind of hard to hold. But I'm I think this is a neat little bait that's really gonna really gonna pile up some panfish this spring. So there you have it guys. New lures for 2023. I'm sure there's some in here you'd like to try, just like I would love to try all the new lures that come out every year. But you know, pocketbook won't allow that, just not possible. But let me know down in the comments if you've got experience with some of these lures already or what your favorite lure is that we had on here today. Uh, because I'm curious to see which one of these will make it. When I be, say make it, I mean be a lure that continues on for years and years and which will just be a flash in the pan. Because trust me, I have plenty of Hollywood lures. You know, those Hollywood lures are the ones that sit there and look good like a movie star, but they don't really serve any practical purpose. I got lots of Hollywood lures, but hopefully a few of these will be more than that and they'll continue on uh, to be a good bait for years to come. We'll see. Time will tell. 
Also, don't forget to check out the description down below. Um, I've got some product links for you guys, discount codes, and also I'm going to do product links for these lures I put on here today. Remember though, until that next video, get out there and fish!